Nutrition is not taught in your children's schools. It's not even a required class in college. It's not subsidized by the government. And it's certainly not something that you're going to find when you're watching the nightly news. You know, if you just examine the ads that happen between each segment of the news or watching your favorite show, it's no surprise that you're not going to be learning the information that you need to keep your family healthy from those outlets. It's really sad that children don't learn about how to take care of their bodies from a young age. You know, I remember the first time that I went to a nutritional workshop, I was actually upset afterwards, not because the information that I learned was upsetting, but because of the fact that I had just finished junior college and learned nothing about nutrition. When I was homeschooled or when I went to public school, I didn't learn anything about nutrition. The underlying assumption is that in our culture, when we watch a TV ad and we see a product, and we go and buy that product, we don't realize that we're actually assuming that this company that does not know about us, that does not care about us, that has only money to gain from us, has our best interests in mind. We even assume that about the healthcare system at large, which is a billion dollar industry that again thrives off of a sick population. Those are not correct assumptions when you simply analyze the facts. The average person is dying of heart disease and other diseases like cancer, chronic diseases that are largely preventable. 80% of heart disease, according to mainstream experts, that's not holistic health nuts or your nutrition guru, mainstream experts say that 80% of heart disease is preventable and that's the number one killer worldwide. Diabetes is the fastest growing disease in the world. It's also the most expensive disease to treat when you look at it from the government perspective. So if you think about a lot of the conversation happening right now, or when we look at dealing with the health of future generations, not only physically, but economically, you have to look at nutrition. Your friend that's inviting you to this event really has your best interests in mind. And they may not be able to answer all these questions because they, just like you, could have just started learning about nutrition, which is an extremely broad and deep subject that again, we are not taught from a young age, and so therefore we have to start at the very basics. This meeting is designed to teach you how to start with your diet and your lifestyle and make simple step-by-step -step decisions that are going to improve the health of your family, and these decisions are sustainable. Then we're gonna give you the tools that you need to discern when it comes to choosing the products that are right for you. We will make recommendations on what we do, but overall, we know that you'll walk away like the many thousands that have come have, having now the tools to be able to make sound decisions when it comes to nutrition. We hope that whoever invited you to this meeting, you will give them the same attention that maybe you gave to an ad on TV to go buy gummy vitamins at Walmart, or something else like that. The number one drain on the American economy is actually poor health. The number one threat to the individual family life is not ISIS, it's not some obscure disease like Ebola that two people have caught. It is poor nutrition that is leading to chronic disease which is killing the majority of the population worldwide. If we're gonna see a change for future generations, we have to start taking proactive steps right now. Just like when it comes to our finances, we have to stop getting into debt and we have to uncover the hole and start building healthy habits and savings for future generations.